this is just going to be a short little video. I just wanted to show you guys. I had three wood rounds sitting in my craft room, taking up some space. And I just wanted to get them designed, get them put in my shop, get them put in my best friend's shop. I just needed them out of the way. So I decided to desi design three of these for you today. And you see that cute little mess in the corner? Yeah, I was squeezing out the stain and it exploded and went everywhere. But I'm not going to waste it. And I'm just going to play music through the rest of this. You guys can clearly see what I'm doing. This is just to give you guys some inspiration. Okay, now I just wanted to pop in here really quick. The video is going by pretty quick and I don't really have a lot of time to explain, but I wanted to let you guys know that I did put wax over the top and that was to ensure that my stencil wasn't, my paint and my stencil wasn't gonna bleed underneath. And um, I did do the top of this wood round, as you can see, it says, welcome to our favorite place. And I wasn't liking it at all. And so now I'm just kind of sitting here playing with the placement of the birdhouse and the greenery just to kind of get an idea of where I want to place it. And um, I also what I don't show in this video is that I use a Jenga block to kind of prop up the birdhouse just a little bit because I wanted a little bit of room under there so I could take the greenery and just poke it in, glue it down underneath so it would stay. So I just needed the birdhouse heightened just a little bit. So one little Jenga block was perfect to get that. And then I was just sitting here and I was very unhappy with the top of this sign. So I come in with some blue tape and I decided I'm just gonna paint over that. Like I did not like that at all. I didn't like the way it was looking. So I just go over it with my black chalk paint and um, get rid of that. And then I had another idea for the top of that, which you'll see here pretty soon. And then also right here, I went in with my um, chalk pen and um, just kind of went over the, the wording a little bit. Some of the, the paint didn't come out as dark as I wanted it on some of the letters. So I just kind of went through and went over that. And now I'm just finishing up, trying to figure out where I want all this greenery on here.
So then I decided to use the cute little rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree. And I just took the little home and some little flower rub-on transfers that they had to put those on there. And here it is, guys. This one is finished. I love it. Let me know in the comments if you like it. If you think I did better by painting the top of that and putting that little welcome sign. Okay, guys, wood round number two. So this one, of course, I already had them stained. I pre-stained all three of them. And now I'm just going in with a stencil that I got in a pack from Lowe's. They have a bunch of farmhouse stencils. And um, what I didn't show you is I did do the wax on this one as well. So my stencil wouldn't bleed. My paint wouldn't bleed through the stencil. And so I'm just going to let you guys watch me do this one it's really quick pretty much it for this one guys like this one was super fast obviously I already had it stained ahead of time I just used this awesome stencil that I had got in a pack of farmhouse stencils from Lowe's they still currently have them so check those out and so now I'm going to start with my last wood round and I just go in with some painters tape and kind of tape off some sections that I want to do in white and so I get my white chalk paint to do that with. And I just kind of go in just a little sloppy. I don't care. I'm not trying to make it look perfect. I want that stain to show through the white. Like something magical happens when you put white paint on top of stain. I freaking love it. It gives it this awesome distressed look. And we all know I love distressing. So now I'm just taking off the tape looking to see what I got. I freaking love it already. I love it. Love it. Love it. So now I go in and I'm looking for this sign that I had gotten from Dollar Tree. It says home and it's a little galvanized metal sign. I have a ton of them. I picked up a bunch of them. So here I'm trying to decide if I want to use succulents or if I want to use flowers. And now looking at that, this back, like this, that looks cute. I love the succulents. Maybe I should have used those, but I did not. I went with the flowers. So let me know guys in the comments, would you have used the succulents or would you have used flowers? Did I make the right decision? I don't know. Let me know. All right. So now I'm going in and you know, I have to distress that little piece that's showing. So I go in with my white chalk paint, just kind of distressing the edges a little bit here and there. I'm just going in and just hitting it a little bit more with that stain on the side just on the edges just distressing a little bit more and it's done guys here's all three of them let me know in the comments what you think do you guys like them i love them which one is your favorite i think the home one is my favorite see you later